let's take a look at how we can determine if inputs and outputs are going between the robot and the press. On the SCP-2, we have a button down here called Diagnostics. If we click on the Diagnostics button, we'll get this page here. Normally it comes up here under Signals, but the next one over is IMM. If we click on the IMM, we'll get this page. On this page, we have all the releases to the IMM. And over here, we have all the messages from the IMM. We can actually control the releases to the IMM if you're missing an input to the press. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, once you home your robot, you can click on test mode. Test mode will allow you to highlight any one of these. When you highlight it, you can hit the plus on the side of the panel and it will turn that to a green arrow. We can do it for several of them if we want. You can hit the plus, it'll also turn this one to a green arrow, telling you that the output is being outputted to the IMM. Other useful things is during running. IMMs normally have a consent page. Uh, if you don't have a consent page, you can always go look for your IOs. The IOs will also be very similar to these. You should be able to see if the IO is on or off. If you notice on our consent page, they are highlighted. We'll have them highlighted over here, and you'll have it highlighted over here. There are messages from the IMM. You can see they correlate with each other. Okay, hopefully that'll give you a little bit of help in troubleshooting if you're having an issue with the robot and the press. All right, have a good day.